College football teams are trying to dress to impress these days, and the Aggies are certainly playing their part. With Mississippi State coming to town this week, we thought it would be appropriate to look back to a season ago when the Aggies arrived in Starkville making the biggest fashion statement this school has ever seen. For the first time in their history, A&M played a football game in all black uniforms. We knew what this would mean, you know, for the players and then ultimately for recruits too, but then you want, you know, the fan base and the, the alumni to, to really, really embrace it and then uh, be pleased with the end result too. So yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of, a lot of anxiety and excitement at the same time. A&M gave the uniforms the go-ahead in the summer, meaning the staff had to keep things quiet for nearly five months. We did a lot of stuff over at Matt Watson's house. He shipped everything to him at his house, and then we would pick it up uh, if we'd go to either to FedEx or to wherever we were going to pick it up at and take it straight to his house so we could keep it under wraps. You didn't want people coming in here and, and saying, oh, what are all the boxes you're bringing in? So, uh, and then we spent a lot of, uh, we spent several nights uh, over at his house just getting things ready to the late out, you know, late hours of the night. It was a really fun process, actually. You know, I kind of like being one of the few people to to know about it, and uh, it was it was a long, long process of keeping a secret. We hadn't even told our student managers what we were doing until we got uh, to Starkville on Friday. So we uh, we actually went to the stadium on Friday to unload the truck. At that point, we let them know kind of what was going on. And on Saturday, just two hours before kickoff, the players got their unveiling. We SEC ready! We SEC ready now, y'all! That's Texas a and for you, baby. <laughs> Get with it or go home. That was the reward. That, that was the whole, it's like, okay, now it's, now it's paid off. It's time to play football. We got to win. We got to win, bro. Trey Williams was exactly right. Things like this don't go over as well in defeat. We were definitely wanting to win in these just because it's something different, you know, and every time you do something different, you want it to go well and, and just maybe keep doing it over and over, you know, and start, start a new tradition. As far as equipment go, goes, uh, you know, we've never been accused of winning a game, but we've sure been accused of losing them before. <laughs> they didn't have to worry long. The Aggies got out to a 24-0 halftime lead and won 38-13. The uniforms were largely successful. It was hard not to think history was made in Starkville last season. At the time, you're not really looking at it like that. You're hoping that uh, that you've got everything you need, that everything goes off without a hitch, and then at the end, you, you just want to win the game. And uh, that made it, uh, you know, all the, the better when once the game was over and we had won, because uh, we knew that, you know, well, we would be let back in the state. Really, we just kind of caught up with the times. You know, that's that's. Part of the deal in college football right now is, is really, a, you know, most teams are doing something different and it's important to kids these days. Is a, you know, alternate uniforms, odd color uniforms, and not to do something completely off the grid. I mean, we've been very cognizant to do something traditional, but then put a little spin on it too. So if you look at everything that we've done with our, our uniforms, um, you know, they've, they've been little aspects that we've brought in from other ways. So it, it's really not something that we've done too different. but. Uh, yeah, I think it's it's you know it's part of college football now, and it's it's really fun for us to get to do that kind of stuff, and the players love it. 